today we got a couple of things we want to show you about our military surplus generator. Now the first thing I want to talk about or show you today is the two-wire auto start that we've installed. We got it from this company right here. It's this uh, circuit board basically and uh, you wire it into the generator. Pretty technical and uh, I had to make several phone calls but they're really nice there and they'll help you out with any, any problems you run into. Yeah, turn it on. It's really nice, it's just two wires here. It can be wired into the our Outback inverter charger or it can be wired into the uh, Midnight Solar charge controller. Works great. Now, you'll hear it primes it for a pretty long time here. I guess to really make sure there's plenty of fuel in, the, in there to where it, it'll crank, it won't stall. We've got it set to where it will warm up for about five minutes. auxiliary fuel storage here. We have three stainless steel 55 gallon barrels and uh, this an adapter. Got it off of eBay. And this is the adapter that we got. It just has a copper tube that goes all the way down to the bottom or near the bottom. It doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Then it just runs into the auxiliary fuel port that's next to the fuel cap here. It has two fuel pumps, the main one and the auxiliary fuel pump. I've estimated the fuel usage and I've done it twice now and we're using less than half a gallon per hour here at 0.455 gallons per hour and that's running about 4400 watts on this 5 kilowatt generator. Now these diesels you can run them you can run 6000 watts constantly. I mean they're 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 called a 5 kilowatt, you know, 5000 watt generator but they're really 6. They'll they'll run that easy. They run at 1800 rpms or water cool, very very fuel efficient. That's why we got one. If you're considering getting one of these for your for whatever your needs are, I would do my research first on steel soldiers and just uh, read up on some people have gotten some lemons for sure and you just got to be careful and uh, do your due diligence. For me living off grid, the Cadillac of generators is the 1800 RPM diesel generator but it was always out of reach they're I mean they're outrageous and then I've researched these and you can get them at a, an affordable price now so it's something to consider hurricanes or whatever these are fantastic um, but w when you live full-time off-grid like us this is the way to go that's why we we now we have two for backup there. I'm a, I'm a big fan of them now. I'm a huge fan. Mm -hmm. 